Okay, guys. So what's happening? Not Do much. You... Work so... on the vlog, you know. Right. I know. You know. I noticed last night that what's going on with this chair right here. Do you notice that it's like? Yeah, it drags this, against the carpet. This yeah. thing drags on the carpet. It's starting to. It's ripping up the carpet. It up, yeah. yeah, it's tearing it up. Man, we need to fix that, right? Lori will kill us if we yeah. wreck Well, it's it. super annoying because I can't like go in and out because it rips the carpet, so every time I move, I have to like pick up the chair. Nico has a problem with going in and out. That's right. Exactly. I can good. never make it far enough in, so that's my problem. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to be back. I Literally, I've got to get that fixed. Sorry, give me a second. I'll be back. Out, man. All right, I think I got the chair 100% chair. Okay. Yeah, go ahead, sit in that sucker. See what you uh, think, man. What do you think? Uh, it's good. Oh, look at that. I know it's good. Here, let's oh, try. Let's try that. it out. Here, take this. You won't be messing up the the uh, <laughs> the rug anymore. Fix my chair. What a guy. Now look at you. Test out. You can slide back and forth now. I can be on the same level as Trevor now. We can slide together. No, we're slide buddies. Slide. Hey, I think my wheels could use a little grease if you don't mind. They're kind of. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm heading to do this kind of uh, interesting little, it's like a, uh, it's a TV show on a local channel uh, called In-Depth Detroit. And it's been going on for a long time, but it's at a film school uh, studio and they record it there and the director or whatever is, you know, a TV guy. And then the rest of the crew is ran by the film students, which is really cool. And uh, they asked me to come and just talk about reptiles and have a good time. So I packed up a handful of animals and I'm heading down the road. I'm about an hour away and uh, we'll see what this is like. Should be pretty fun. So we made it here, we unloaded the animals. I'm at Medina Film School and uh, this is where they're gonna shoot the show. And I tell you what, that is an amazing sunset. I, I don't know if you guys can see that enough. It probably doesn't come up too good, but it is just absolutely beautiful. So it's paining me that I only brought one camera because I wish I could throw a camera out here and do a time lapse on this beautiful sunset. But uh, I only brought one, so gotta take what we can get. Uh, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm always vlogging, always vlogging. How are you? Good. Look, the tarantula we'll have here, but in container. We're bring in this container? Up. Yeah, I know. Yeah, sure. Why? Yeah. We Jesus. have a host with a fear. Oh, oh. That's silly. The black one. So we had a great time doing the TV thing, and now everyone's just kind of hanging out, having fun with the snakes. Indeed we are. <laughs> Of course, sunshine's always one of the crowd pleasers. Uh, we've had all kinds of stuff. People have held tarantulas for the first time. Boas, look at the boas over here. There you go. So it's just a really good time to hang out with these people. Uh, again, these are all really passionate film students, uh, which is cool, because of course I love that type of stuff. And of course now they're becoming, these guys right over here are becoming snake lovers too. So how awesome is that, guys, right? I'll try to see if I can share a link of it at some point. Uh, it's a good time. So guys, um, I'm going to share something with you guys that is, this is hard. Um, this is part of keeping animals. Uh, this may be one of the biggest hits I've ever had in, in, with an animal and I don't know what else to do but share it with you guys um Kelsey just came and got me and uh 
you guys saw that I just had sunshine out with uh, with the TV appearance and uh, this is what uh, we found. People have asked me what my favorite snake is many times. And I could never really answer it 100%, but uh, the truth is sunshine was definitely one of my favorite. I don't know what happened. I mean, she's was fine, Just I just had her out. I just had her out. And now she's gone. I don't know what happened. I don't know if it, it was something I did. I hope that the travel of the stress of going to that show didn't kill her. It's days like today that make it so hard. You know, I love these animals so much. Patterson. She was always my animal that I could always trust around kids. She was such a great ambassador. Just don't know what happened. She just ate a few days ago. She was 100% fine around all those people. She was getting handled. They loved her to death. She was such an impact. I'm sorry, guys. I just didn't know what else to do but to share this moment with you guys. I don't mean to bum your day out. I just don't know what I'm going to do right now. This won't steal my passion for the animals, it won't, but it hurts so bad. I can't think of another loss of an animal that I've had that has been so devastating to me. So I didn't really want to end the vlog that way. I kind of feel bad that I, I broke, I didn't know really who else to share this with and, and because I want to bring you guys into my life, I, I felt that I should share that with you. It was such an emotional thing for me and it's been a couple hours so I've been able to calm down a little bit. You know, first off, I apologize for acting like a baby and crying like I, I just loved her to death, you know, and, and I've been asked before who my favorite snake was and, and I didn't know that I knew the answer to that but the pain that I felt and still feel now, I can say there's no way that there could have been a different snake that was my favorite other than Sunshine but the, the point, the reason why I wanted to talk to you before I ended it the way we did was that unfortunately this is the ugly side of keeping animals. Um, we don't know. I mean, you guys saw just earlier in this video, she was out with me and she was fine. She was, you know, running around and s people were loving her and she changed so many people's lives, you know. I I've taken her around so many people and, and, and because she had such an amazing personality for a snake, people fell in love with her and then they were curious to learn more about snakes. That, that's amazing to me. And, and, and I don't know what happened. And, and again, it goes back to what I, I said, that's, that's the downside of wildlife and animals and, and any living animal is that one day they can be fine or in this case, hours before they can be fine and, and then something happens, whether it's a heart attack or some colossal brain ander, I, I don't know. But this one really did take the wind out of my sails. Uh, I'm going to be okay. Uh, I, I'm going to regroup. I'm not going to lose my passion for animals or wildlife. But this one hurt. I mean, this this is this this cut deep, and. Yeah, I just wanted to share that experience with you and talk to you and, and tell you that I'll be okay, you know. So if you're commenting down below and telling me how sorry you are, I, I appreciate that. It's terrible. 
but also understand that I'm going to be all right. I, I will rise up. Today's going to be bad. It's going to be many days I'm going to be thinking about her. Every time I go to an educational show, to not be able to pull her out is going to be very difficult, but I'll somehow get past it, and, and, and I'm going to continue to, 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 to try to push my love of wildlife on other people. But this is how, this is the true reality. This happens. And sometimes people want to hide what happens, and it it's just, I'm not going to hide that from you guys. So, so again, guys, thank you for being with me. I apologize for my emotions, and this time I really will see you tomorrow. I hope you have a wonderful day.